So what is jQuery? Or maybe more importantly, why is jQuery? Um, for anyone that's worked with JavaScript in the past, as probably most of the people watching this video have, you've found it to be kind of frustrating. Um, certainly that was my experience with, with JavaScript. Uh, usually the hardest thing with, with JavaScript is trying to target any element to affect that element on the page. Um, jQuery makes that easier, and jQuery makes a whole lot of other things easier as well. jQuery is a JavaScript library, so you need to actually include it on your web page. It's not part of JavaScript that's included in the browser. Um, you need to actually include the, the jQuery uh, file um, onto your web page in order for it to work. Um, but it's a relatively small file. Um, on the site here, they say that uh, jQuery version 1.4.1 is 23K uh, minified, which means that uh, the JavaScript code has been shrunk down and all of the um, space has been taken out of it. We can probably show you an example of what that looks like on the screen here. Um, and, and that's minified. And then gzipped, which is a thing that uh, your web server might do um, where it shrinks down the 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 code uh, as it's being delivered to the browser. Um, the actual when you actually download the file here, it's probably closer to 60k. Um, but still, I mean, an important way to think about it is um, it's less than the size of most graphics, most images, uh, JPEG files on the web, um, and you only need to include it once, uh, and uh, and your browser will cache it. So the query part of jQuery refers to this idea of finding those elements on the page, querying uh, the elements to find the, the right things. And you can use a CSS3 type syntax. Uh, you can use a couple of different syntaxes um, to find the elements on the page. But it makes it super easy to um, find the first div on the page, or the first div that's a sub-element of of, um, of another uh, element on the page. Um, makes all that super easy. Um, and then it offers a whole bunch of, of stuff on top of that to make uh, writing JavaScript easier. Another thing that's been historically difficult with JavaScript is cross-browser compatibility, uh, and usually compatibility with Internet Explorer. Let's be honest. Um, and jQuery basically takes care of all of that. When you use jQuery's methods, uh, they've already been tested in, in uh, cross-browser environments. Um, and you can see here when you roll over, uh, uh, jQuery 1.4 says basically they've tested with uh, IE 6 and forward, um, uh, Firefox 2 and forward, and Safari 3 and forward, Opera 9 and forward, and Chrome, all the Chrome versions. Um, as of this recording. Um, and so that cross-browser compatibility is a super time saver, just makes makes it a whole lot easier. I mean, basically jQuery just makes using JavaScript a whole lot less of a hassle than it used to be. Uh, so yeah, it's got a lightweight footprint, 23K, they're saying. Uh, it's a little bit bigger in practice, but uh, um, yeah. Uh, the CSS3 selectors make, make things super easy. Uh, uh, jQuery also has some methods for event handling, uh, animation, and AJAX handling as well. Um, AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML, um, which has become sort of a bit of a no, uh, misnomer over time. Uh, the idea was uh, originally that uh, web pages could pull in new data using XML, uh, but in practice, uh, oftentimes uh, it's calling in data using just regular uh, HTML, uh, sometimes referred to as AHA, asynchronous HTML and HTTP, um, or it's calling in data using uh, a technology called JSON, which stands for JavaScript Obje Object Notation, so it's bringing in actual little JavaScript snippets that can then be parsed on the page. The end result basically is you get a web page that acts sort of like a desktop application in that you can bring in new data into the page without having to, to reload the page entirely. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, when people talk about Web 2.0, it usually has to do with, with that kind of stuff. And it's built right into to jQuery, a lot of these, a lot of these functions. 
jQuery 1.0 came out in August of 2006, and since that time it's become hugely popular. According to Wikipedia, uh, jQuery is uh, installed on 20% of the top 10,000 websites uh, in the world. Uh, and uh, I don't blame them. It's good stuff. Um, let's talk a little bit more about uh, jQuery and how you can use it on your websites.